everybody, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I'm going to do the quick walkthrough for our mid-century modern auction for April 2nd and 3rd, 2019. You heard that right. It's a two-day auction. Begins at 9 o'clock on Tuesday, April 2nd, and at 1 p.m. on Wednesday, April 3rd. About 1,126 lots, 700 of them on the first day, plus uncatalogued items on the first day, and 426 lots on the second day. Doing a quick pan of the room. Um, it's going to take a little while to get through all 1,100 lots. So as you can see, it's everything from Knoll to uh, Milo Bowman to great sculpture. We, have a, we kind of focused on getting uh, collecting up some sculptures for this auction. It kind of starts with that with the catalog. Let me walk into the other room. You can see what we have. Over here is the uncatalog section. This is the uh, section I've already done a video for. It's all going to be sold at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Nothing on Wednesday as far as uncatalogued. And then we have all this stuff stacked up for the catalog portion of the sale. This, this room is all Wednesday. So as you can see, there's a lot of good stuff in the Wednesday auction as well. Case pieces, sets of chairs, etc. So uh, if you want to come along, we can take a look at everything in the sale. I'll go in somewhat sale order. And we always start in this section right here with lot number one at 11 a.m. And we sell these on live auctioneers through Invaluable, and also you can leave bids and uh, phone bids uh, via email. If you uh, start the item at least 300, we'll call you on the phone. If you don't want to start it at 300, we'll be happy to take an absentee bid and bid it on your behalf. So in the corner here, we have this amazing sculpture. This is one of the good reasons to watch the video. You see, you see how large this, I'm not even sure what it is, some kind of, almost looks like a blimp up here, but then it swoops down like it's a, some type of grasshopper leg. I'm not sure what it is. Very cool. It's bronze. It's on this mirrored pedestal. It's connected to that pedestal. That's lot number 15. Some good, um, some good uh, Asian style coffee tables. Look at that's Klaus Illenfeld. Coming over here. Very, very cool. Look at the size of this metal sculpture right here. Wow. Back here, there's everything from uh, P. Guerin to uh, that carved wood, carved wood uh, fish guy. I can't remember his name right now. Look at this splat metal sculpture. You have traditional sculptures. You have Paul Evans. You have this little uh, sculpture with the fans. And we, uh, at about lot 80 or so, we start sprinkling in some nice Danish furniture, teak, C. Geray. Look at this great table right here with the uh, kind of the back-to-back -back mermaids holding the table up. You don't see those around. That's an unusual design right there. Look at this nice little desk. Pair of these chairs. Clean condition. You have this one right here. Look at the side work on that. Mosaic top. Very nice architectural pottery planter right here. And it has a, has a nice little base to it, an original base. Good bookends, Gucci, Petrified Wood, Maitland Smith. Look at this harp chair. Very nice. In the back there you have some um, posters. See Jair. You have the welded sculptures, the wall sculptures. You have the, the kind of, I guess that could be a yard sculpture. You put it, in your, put it in your house as well if you'd like. Look at this pair of these lamps right here. Very nice with the brass, copper finish. Look at the ball accents. High back Pearsall chair. Oh, around the corner, Mastercraft. Very nice Mastercraft uh, Asian chest. We back up this way. Some nice abstract art. Brooklyn Bridge. Credenzas. Look at these great little uh, Peter Vitt cabinets right here. I'm going to walk around and open the doors real quick. People have, people have been asking how well the doors work. I can attest. They work well. Just using my thumb, my finger, snap into place. Nothing wrong with them yet. All right, let me come around this way. This section right there, super nice pair of those. Like, uh, uh, let me see what the name, Henry Glass, Intimate Island. Let me go all the way around the back. It's a statement piece when it comes to these uh, 
kind of imagine that all refinished up nice walnut all right you have these tables with the that's a dia like hoffman style table let me go and peer and pan this part of the room we're only about a what a fifth of the way in it's not going to be a 25 minute video so let me speed up a little bit you have Noel, you have Martz. I'm going to walk up and down. You might see this stuff as a blur, but I don't really have a lot of time. I don't want to waste yours. Nice Kagan lounge. Eames. I mean, this way, Maitland Smith. Let me go back into the back room right here. See both sides. Oh, that was, that's amazing. I really like that. That uh, op art oil painting. See Jeray. A pair of these chairs are kind of like ant chairs or something. Almost look like insects. Very cool. Milo Bowman, Chesterfield, Daybeds, Pearsall. You get the idea. There's there's a uh, catalog with everything pictured one at a time, 1,100, 1100 items. Now, if you're on our website, you want to go to each individual day. There's one for Tuesday and there's one for Wednesday on our site. So you'll get to the end at lot 700 and realize now you have to go and look at the, the catalog on the third. Let me just do a quick pan of this section. I'm not going to be labor going up and down every aisle. Amazing Milo Bowman and uh, X base tables. Look at this is Dunbar. All redone. This is a fantastic table right here. It's Whittacombe, George Nakashima for Whittacombe. Look at the base. Pearsall, you can turn this way, George no or uh, Jack Lenore Lawson, Jack Lenore Lawson, <clears throat> Noel, Saarinen for Noel, Eames for Herman Miller on those, you have good corner right here, let me just do the other side of this second section right here, and work my way over to the art, so you have everything from Liechtenstein to Calder to this original Green print grocery right there. You see here. Let me, let me explain what's happening. These guys are driving along and none of them are paying attention because they're all looking at the girl over here. The dog is chasing after the thing, but what? They're going to crash right into the pole on the corner of Mob Noble and West Street in Green print. Is that Brooklyn? Green print Brooklyn? The investigators is called. Very cool. Original right there. You're not going to see those in prints. Very nice uh, abstract art. Palcapenas, there's earlier Palcapenas, there's some more statues as you can see. This very nice piece of uh, kind of worked like chainmail type metal art attributed to Ruth Asawa. Not signed, super nice. You have the Serge Roche, nice oil painting, more oil painting, Murano, Italian, Vazzarelli. All right, we're about 825. Let me do the center of the room here as we go into the lobby. Some of the nicest things we have we are in the lobby. Look at this amazing kind of, um, look, it's got a brass metal base and it's got a marble top. The marble top has these kind of mosaic Venetian glass tiles all inlaid around. We have a copy of the original invoice in there from 1959. Very nice table. I can't really say anything bad about it. It's not signed. I'm not sure the designer on it, but it kind of looks like the Vladimir Kagan one we sold a little while ago for over 10,000. Uh, I'd be surprised if it does less than a couple thousand. This way, super nice desk. Oh, let me back it up. There is Leo Sewell. We've sold several of his figures. We sold a dog and a cat. We've sold other items. And you can see he makes his stuff up with kind of found items, baseball bats, magic markers. You have a bowling pin in there. His heart is right there. It's a clock face. So super nice. It's signed Leo Sewell. There's some nice art in the back. I'm not going to go over it too, too much. Let me back up this way. Oh, what to look at besides me. <laughs> beautiful day here on Friday finally we get some nice weather um, look at these great chairs super nice big desk enough all right let me walk through here 
Again, I'm not going to. This is all, by the way, this is all on Wednesday now. So we've had the auction on Tuesday. It's all over. We're coming the next day at around 10 for preview. And then 1 o'clock, we start the catalog. It's going to be a live auction. People will be here. It's not, it's not online only. However, there is no uncatalog portion. So this portion of the auction is going to be all just in the catalog. It's all available for online bidding. Come on, come on Tuesday or Monday. Preview the items. Elizabeth Catlett. It's a super nice, uh, super nice statue right here. Ugh, it's got a lot of weight to it. Signed Catlett on the bottom. People are asking if the paint's original. I don't know. I don't think the paint is original. I think it might be repainted. Lucite. Mosaic. Moving on. Let me back up this way a little bit. Now this, this little uh, one right here, that one's already been sold. Don't come for that. We just didn't want to move it. We're going to let the new buyer move it when they get it. All right, walking down here. Look at this amazing Edward Fields carpet. It's signed Edward Fields, but it's, it's a statement carpet for sure. All right, let me come over here. Wall sculptures, Sergio Maza for light -alier. These sculpture, These uh, chandeliers are, well, I guess they're wall sconces. There's six of them, and they're amazing. They are amazing. Light of the air. Wall sculptures. Backing up this way. There's good stuff. That's in the second day. That's in the Wednesday auction. There's good stuff all the way through. You have outdoor furniture. You have nice Danish coffee tables. Amazing sculpture, Bustamante. <clears throat> I will say Wednesday has more of the outdoor type furniture. You have the Umanoff, you have the outdoor, you have the Schultz, the Redwood set, you have the Woodard. All right, we're coming up on 12 minutes for the video. Everything from Pearsall in the second day to Platner to Nice little sling chairs. Here's the shellback chairs. Saarinen style stools. A set of six of them we're selling. Chandeliers. Brutalist. It's stacked all the way high. Hopefully by the time uh, Wednesday rolls around, we'll have a little bit of room. We can unstack some of it. But <clears throat> it's all going to be sold. Down the middle here. Set to chairs. All right, you get the idea. We're here all day on Monday from 12 to 6 for preview. We're here on Tuesday for the auction beginning at 8 o'clock. The uncatalogued small start at 9 o'clock, and the uncatalogued furniture starts at about 9.15, a little bit after that. Then we start the catalog at 11. So full, full week ahead of us. We have Tuesday is the auction starting at 11 a.m. for the catalog, and then Wednesday for the catalog at 1 p.m. All right, so... This has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the auction. Bye-bye.